Alright guys, so in this video I thought I'd just be a very, it would just be a very casual video. I thought I'd go through some Instagram comments and pictures and things and show you what people are saying, what people are commenting. So, I posted this picture a while ago, this one here, which is, it says, what is your idea of fun in a lucid dreaming state? And there's been a number of comments and I just thought I'd read some of them out. If I can get them to load. I just thought I'd read some of these, uh, these comments out just to share what people think is a fun thing to do in a lucid dream. So, I mean, there's loads of stuff here, guys. There's yeah, there's loads of comments here, like going to India, flying and apparently sex, staying lucid for longer than five seconds. That's a real problem. People find it hard to stay lucid for like longer than a few seconds, especially if you're a beginner. Anyway, I'll get onto that in a minute. I've got some solutions for you for that. Swimming, swimming deep and breathing underwater. That is actually, one of the coolest things to do in a lucid dream, guys, is to swim really, really far underwater and explore the ocean. Because think about it, right? The ocean is something that you can never normally experience further than a few hundred feet, you know, with a diving gear. But if you were to if you were to explore the ocean in a lucid dream, you can go wherever you want. And it's like, it's an entirely new world. It's really exciting. So there's another one, Peter Pan flying and zooming through time, plus Lord of the Rings. Another thing, right, guys, you can reenact films and you know your favorite superhero movies or whatever you can do that in a lucid dream and that's kind of fun too as well and then we've got talking to dream characters flying it seems a lot of people use lucid dreaming for flying and that's that's totally you know i understand that because it's something you can't do in waking life uh, a lot of people yeah sex as well flying and sex are probably one of the mo two of the most common things that people do in a lucid dream swimming in, in the ocean again flying through space at light speed flying time warping <laughs> I I Oneironaut says I usually eat a bunch of really good food. <laughs> you know you can do that in waking life too, right? Creating entire kingdoms and talking to people there. Going time traveling. So so the reason I wanted to just share that with you guys is just to show you firstly like the most co the, the common things people do in lucid dreams is either flying, sex or like time travel and superhero stuff. Now that is that is amazing and like that stuff is good. But like I've explained in a previous video, you have two paths as a lucid dreamer. You've got two directions which you could go in in terms of what you're going to spend your time in a lucid dream doing. And th and those directions are the practical side of things that will improve you as a person and the fun instant gratification things that will improve your short-term well-being and in, in the sense that they'll make you happy now. Now both of them are important and I think it's important to experience both of them but I think the more important side of it is obviously the practical side, right? The stuff that's actually going to improve you as a person and add to your life in some way because, you know, you could have lucid dreaming sex or fly around every night for the next 10 years that won't really add to you as a person in the sense that it won't improve any skills it won't improve your confidence as such it won't really give you anything back apart from the instant gratification when you do it it's just like having a junk food takeaway. It's gonna feel good and taste good in the moment, but long term, it's not really gonna give you anything. And in fact, it might even take away something. In, a, in, a, in that example, it will take away some of your health. Now, I'm not saying that if you fly in a lucid dream, it's gonna be bad and it's gonna take away your health. Not at all, before you guys comment that. What I am saying is that in that situation, it's better to focus ma mainly on the practical aspect in, in the sense of what are you gonna use it for to improve yourself and the world and then maybe 30% of the time do the fun stuff. Because that way, that's enough, you know, 30% of the time, that's still a lot of lucid dreams over the course of a year, um, if you're learning the right stuff and practicing the things I've been teaching. You're still gonna have a lot of fun, right? And you can even, you can even do those things as well as the practical side of things in the same dream. But I think you should focus on using lucid dreaming to improve both yourself and the world around you. And you do that first and foremost by focusing on yourself, by improving your confidence and your value and what you can add and give to the world. And then by doing that, you're able to share your value with the world. So if you would like to do that, I do have an entire course called the Bootcamp, which I've mentioned several times, but it's really an, it really is an effective course for lucid dreaming. It really can take you from knowing nothing about lucid dreaming right up until having your first lucid dream and your second and all the way up to your 20th even and beyond and it can do this within 20 days now this is a really special course i'm not going to go on too much about it because i've got loads of testimonials on the page and like screenshots of emails from people but if you want to learn how to lucid dream and you, nothing's really clicking for you it's not really working then i have a link in the description where you can see the boot camp course 
um, or you can go to howtoloser.com forward slash bootcamp. Go and check it out. And that is, I would, that, I would say that's the next step for anyone who's watching these videos and you're struggling or you don't really understand why things aren't clicking for you. That is what I would suggest to do, guys. Done. Thanks for watching, guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dreaming products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.